Hi, Trini. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Uh, very well. Today I thought we would do colour combinations and I'm starting with something which isn't actually my best combinations. Like burgundy is not a colour that's in my match to me when I look at my neutral chart. It's not one of my primary colours that works really well. I'm far more the purples and I go to these kind of brick reds occasionally. And these are complementary shades you can wear with them. But I like wearing burgundy. Burgundy is more in a sort of neutral cool. So I think to myself, how can I wear it and then take one of the shades closest at my neck to me and bring that colour okay. to life a bit more? I do suggest you go to Trinity London. You go and look at what your palette is. You'll look at some of these colours and think, you know, I don't suit all of these colours. Like, I don't wear these greens that often. That's different elements of people who are also yes. neutral. Because neutral is this combination of skin, hair and eyes, which isn't all exactly mine. And so it kind of puts together a few different categories. But there will be colours in here that definitely, like, this is one of my best blues. These are colours I can wear with it. Some of them are complementary and contrasting. Some of them are just complementary shades. I've got three different purples here, so I can look there and think if I want to be really crazy, um, I can do the green. Purple and green works well better than red and green. And if I want to be closer together, I can be in the red. But if I look at this here, same, sort of safe, maybe more like a Crayola. And this is a more contrasting acidy green, which I would not I would want to wear small because this is my better colour, but mm. it, it, a small little contrast of it. And then if I look at this, this is uh, classic mauve. It's lovely with navy if you're really safe, but you can do it with yellow. Mm -hmm. uh, so then I could look at my blues. I can do with orange, which is something I do a lot, this Colbert blue with orange, and I know that works. So it just gives you inspiration to think about things. Like lilac for me is on its own not my best shade, but if I do khaki and lilac, oh, yeah. actually it's really great. So I could do a khaki jumper with a little lilac coming through, and it's that hint. So it switches the other way around. Whereas if you're neutral with the sort of blonder hair, then the violet might be much prettier on you. Yes, that is so satisfying. Yeah, that it's, it's, it, does, it does really make you like orange. Do you ever think of wearing orange? You know how much I love yellow. So we show it with some greys and pinks. And then there's another yellow option, which um, is this sort of similar. Pinks I wear a lot of. And we've got, you know, the idea of pink and red. So we can see some of those outfits now that I do pink and red together. And I occasionally do pink and grey. Probably I do more pink and red. Mm -hmm. And then going to more this colour pink. Pink and orange as well. And pink with a, a plummier pink. And pink and green I love as a combination. I've got that suit from Zara, which is a tricky green. But when I wear pink with it, it brings it back to life. So you can look at the contrasting colour and think, you know, like bubblegum can, bubblegum's a weird colour for me. Mm. It's better on you, bubblegum. It's that really sort of slightly dirtier pink. But again, if I wear it with khaki, it looks better. So I hope it would just give you inspiration. Sage green, I adore this colour. So these are, this is, I mean, that's such a lovely palette to me. You can wear with a soft washed out khaki, this sort of juniper green, and then this quite cool pink, which on its own would be yes. tricky for me to wear, but with that, it brings it together. Yeah, and it gives you inspiration from your wardrobe. You think, oh, I have got that colour, yeah. let me try it. So let's see some inspiration now of when I've done colour contrast together. My daily habit is colour blocking. It's finding new colours in the wardrobe and thinking what goes with what. And it's a great opportunity for you to play with your wardrobe and find totally new outfits. The more the colours are sort of lively together and the same tonality in terms of dirtiness, brightness or mutedness, you know, those kind of three combinations that you can get of colours, the better. But sometimes you break the rules. The perfect pairing for an acid yellow, you would imagine to be a sort of acid pink, which it would be. This pink, which is not, it's a little dirty as a pink, somehow works. It could just be that I have an obsession with neon and I really hope the high street builds up on that obsession. And it's fun. It's fun, exactly. And this is, colour blocking is exactly that, Jemima. It's about fun. You know when you have to really match? Cordy is the colour of my suit. Lip glow. So I just put that on my lips. Oh, here's another one. And this is one I haven't done. Green and purple can be exquisite together. And this is about colour blocking where you're taking an equal strength of colour. One is not lighter than the other. They're just totally different colours that happen to look great together. I wouldn't feel if the top was much darker that I'd want to maybe put on the darker coat over the lighter trousers, because that's just me. So with this, I'm going to take my old Zara coat. I mean, that to me is joyful. 
so joyful and do you know what's great i think anybody of any size can wear color blocking and this is a great example what have you got for us well as molly just said to me kind of crazy but and it is kind of crazy but it works it so works and sometimes when you're doing color blocking if you can find pattern bags and i find so many pattern bags this one is prada i have found countless from zara and different stores and monsoon and just you never know what they're going to go with and then suddenly the more patterned it is the better they work for colour blocking because it's where the colours come together. Colours with pink. Makeup, how do you go about that? I've done a little bit of indie, so I might either do a smoky eye or a little soft lip because it's like a sort of casual, nice, cosy daytime look. So I won't do a hard lip and I won't do a hard eye. I could go many ways with a coat. I could do a navy coat, that would be okay. Although pink and navy is not my favourite, funny enough. For me personally, I would probably gravitate towards a little bit of neon because this pink is heading for neon and that would just feel like a cozy coat and I'll have that poking out and do that pink and yellow moments. So that's one way I could wear the colors. And I think that pink and green can look so pretty together and it's a little bit more approachable. It's a little bit wintry. You might feel less like you're standing out like the highlighter pen, but I like those colors together. I love the idea of fuchsia and sort of what I call, I don't know what I'd call this color, apple green on steroids, okay? Yeah. And also I can't put the sleeves in, so a gilet. That allows those sleeves to go, hey, hey, and then it's quite nice over the trousers. Yeah. And it's a permanent outfit. So clever. God, we can hear you coming. We can see you coming. <laughs> and I think, what else would I wear with it? I could bring the colour to the trousers. Bring the outfit together because it brings it to the bottom part of the trousers. Perfect. Works? Works. <laughs> can I just say, I love these colours together. At the weekend, I was looking at this coat for inspiration and I thought, what can that inspire me as two colours to wear together? And I noticed on close inspection that li lilac, that purple, which is this colour. I thought, great. Now then I wore it with a brown trouser and I wore those two colours together. And I love the colours together. Yeah. And I wouldn't have thought about that unless I'd seen that print. Think of things you've got to print in. Could be a tablecloth, it needn't be a pair of clothing. We're now on to red. And what's interesting, I think, about red is it has fewer varieties than yellow. There isn't a neon red mm -hmm. and there isn't a dirty deep red because that becomes another colour. I think red generally, you know, I'm, I've got the few red things that I've got here, but there's not a huge difference in those colours. No, there's not. Red is sort of red. If I wear red with white, I find I suit it less. I need another colour to come in and be equal with it. So that's why I've done this Zara suit with a real baby pink Vava's wife. This is where those pastels work beautifully to soften the harshness because red is quite cold usually as a colour. It's not a warm colour. We might have lips that we call tomato red. There is a bit of a nuance in cold, pillar boxy to slightly tomato -y. Okay. And who does red look the best on? I always see red as cooler rather than warmer in clothing. So I think it suits people who are cool neutral rather than warm. But then some caramel skin tones with a brown hair and a brown eye can look lovely in a warm red, but even better in a sort of russet. Whereas if you've got a sort of icy blonde with blue eyes and peach cream skin with a red dress, it's incredible. And if you have a woman of color with an ebony skin tone, coolness all through her skin and her hair, I think red can look fabulous. Mm. So it depends. It's a very, very strong colour to me. It's the strongest colour. Yellow, you might think, is the brightest colour, but it's a very strong colour red. Other colours I love red with. So, one of my favourites is to wear it with a sort of Colbert blue. I think to wear it with navy is quite dark. To wear it with this colour, which I've done on a few other closet yeah. confessions, is a fabulous way to wear red. You can wear red with white. I think you can wear red with orange sometimes, but you have to be careful that it's going to go well together and you might feel like you're a tutti fruity. I don't mind that. Now I wouldn't do red and green. I, there's this little rhyme, red and green should never be seen. Yeah. And I would agree with that. I wouldn't do red and purple because they're not contrasting enough in the color spectrum wheel. Sometimes that color clash is much better. Even though this pale pink is close by, mm -hmm. somehow for me it works because it's lighter. Yeah. So it feels more contrasting. I do love also an ice blue, icy blue or green, like a proper ice blue, like that color I kind of love together too. You that know, that gorgeous. actually, those colors are good together. 
So it's like it's the same strength of colour. Yeah, it is the same strength of colour. Mm -hmm. So you've got to think, if you found something that you, you know, the mistakes that we most make in wardrobe purchasing is we buy something because we love the shape, but the colour's not right, or we adore the colour and the shape's not perfect. And those are the clothes we wear the least. So it's a question of if you have things where the shape is gorgeous, think what are your favourite colours? Or is the shade of that colour wrong? Could you dye it? Is it a cotton or is it a polyester or is it some kind of fabric you could dye? Otherwise, give it to a friend who suits it more. I did think to myself, could I bring a bit more pink into the outfit? So close up, are those colours identical? They're both a neon pink. One is a sort of going towards salmon and one is cool, cool. And the colours are both very strong, so is that why they work together? Well, they work together because if we looked at the colour wheel, pink and green are opposite and that's why they work. So the more opposite the colours are, the better. I mean, I love that and I've never worn this together and you know what it does? It gives you that new inspiration to your wardrobe. So this is a combination I love wearing, which is lilac and pastel yellow. It's really soft and pretty together. You could do a bright pink, but I just think if you see the tones of this, they are equal. And that's a trick sometimes is whether you go for shocking contrast, the tone should be the same, the depth of the amount of color in that outfit. These are high-waisted Zara jeans, which I adore, um, as long as I keep my tummy in, because days when I bloat, it shows. And then um, Russell Morgan trainers, Zara top. And I'm just going to then show you also, you know, this ice blue by itself. I'd have to change my makeup to make this work. I could wear it because it's nearish one of my blue things, but my blues are more clear than icy. And this is quite cold on its own. So I'm going to put a slightly warmer color underneath and then change the makeup a bit and okay. let's see the before and after. So what I should do is I'm wearing more of a salmon, which is, you know, orangey and suits me. And then I'm taking Shasha really leaning into the warmth and then over it some mica which is sort of the color of the shirt so i'm on my cheeks because it's important to bring that color all over my face now let's look at it with the outfit it's really changed the look hasn't mm. it i think as well it helps having that sharp collar yeah it does just closer to your face yeah. isn't it where's the shirt from this is all designer this is celine shirt which hardly fits me and this is a new acquisition i can't say where it's from because i feel good but the old shirt was Zara, wasn't it? The blue one? Yeah, it was Zara. Nice. So I'm gaining inspiration from this, which is French violet. This is slightly more washed out, but I don't actually have this exact colour, which I want to get more of. But looking at what I can do it with and the idea of khaki with this, if this was a little bit stronger, it would be great because this is a tiny bit pale over this. But again, what's interesting here is this is a little bit cooler and that's sort of neutral. Yeah. And makeup has become quite warm. So I it now has. need to change the makeup to bring it all together. A little bit of Lovers, and Lovers has that brownie warmth to it, which I want to introduce to the eye area. Put the tiniest bit on, and I'm gonna really just wash it out. But it's slightly neutral cool, like that. That's got cooler. Then I'm going to take some Joy, very pretty, soft, pinky shade, which I always love anyway with khaki. I could introduce even some Chalice, which is this lilac-y, Color. Char Chalice and Lovers together is really pretty. There. And now it's about the coolness or the neutralness of the lip and cheek. So I think I might do a little bit of Freya. Freya is a lip glow in this plummy color, which reads on the lip more of a berry. And then I'm going to take that to my cheek. And now let's look at it in that light. So it's just got a neutralness to it instead of being too warm. It's definitely a cool color that's neutral. So to wear a very warm shade when I've got a very cool color on is always a clash to me. And there are some people who are going to find if they're extremely warm or extremely cool, they really need to stay in those families. When you're in neutral, you can dabble in both, but you just, sometimes you can go cooler in a shade or warmer in a shade, but the makeup has to bring it back somewhere. Yeah, the makeup has really transformed it though. It looked so warm before and yeah. now it looks really good. And does it look like I'm wearing the colour now? Because before I felt the colours were slightly draining me. It does, and I think the lip was fighting last time, yeah. but yeah, not draining at all. Yeah. So have a play and when we're thinking about colour, it's got to be a mixture of the colours that you're drawn to. I definitely love pinks and I love blues and I love purples. Khakis, I'm building a new relationship with. Black is definitely my colour, navy is my black. 
and then expand on them and just see the inspiration you can get. Some of the colours are going to be really extreme for you and you might think, whoa, no way. But there's some complementary hues which will just give you that template of thinking, okay, have I got something similar to that? Let me just test that clash of colour. And what we're doing with the colour wheel is we're going either diametrically opposite or we're triangulating or we're going side by side. But we're never going here mm. when we're here. That's, mm -hmm. that's the sort of my balance. Thanks, okay. Trini. I'm going to go right. fill out my match to me now. Fantastic, darling. Have fun. Thank Have you. a play this weekend. Bye. Bye.